Pisces, welcome back to my channel on my returning subscribers and welcome all my new people. Today we're going to be doing a look at the month of May 2024 for you and what to expect. And of course, I missed you guys. Quick side note, I've been taking like a, a quick break or a minor break to balance my energy out doing readings a lot of readings constantly can be draining so i needed some time to just kind of recuperate from the amount of readings i was doing but now i'm back in full effect if you do want to get a personal reading with me my website is up for you guys to get a personal session uh and make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat in the future whenever we upload future content and whatnot but let's get into the reading itself. I'm gonna do an eight card spread and we're also gonna pull some oracle cards for you too. So first oracle card that we have for the month of May, it says you are you are enough just as you are, excuse me. It's got tongue tied. So you are enough just as you are. This month is about accepting yourself wholly not accepting pieces or parts of yourself but being in a space to where you can fully accept yourself for your journey for you know your quote-unquote flaws or the things that you you know may not be in full acceptance of and in you integrating by accepting your shadow side the parts of yourself that you're working on this is going to help you tackle this month or tackle beyond this month actually with this sense of, okay, I know my power, I know my strengths, I know my weaknesses, and let me maneuver in a way where it benefits me, okay? And also, when, there, when it comes to any situation in your life that makes you feel like your personal worth is in question, whether that's a relationship, romantically, a family relationship, people at your job, your current career, just your current journey, this month is about accepting yourself in the place that you're at presently so that you can add to it or take away things that you don't necessarily want to have uh, in your life anymore. Okay, let's pull some more Oracle cards. I guess we could use, which ones can we use? Okay, we could use these. Give me two Oracle cards for my Pisces for the month of May. So it says, quiet your mind. Overthinking a problem is not the key to any door. Take a few deep breaths to still your inner chatter. Let yourself just be for a while. So if you do feel overwhelmed with responsibility this month, or if you just are overthinking, you've been chronically overthinking, struggling with this, and almost like overthinking yourself out of situations talking yourself out of things that you want to accomplish or do it's important that you allow yourself to take a few breaths and do things to center yourself in the present moment acceptance is key whenever we start to overthink as well we don't have to pay attention to those thoughts that are coming up or give light to them to where we act on those thoughts or we allow those thoughts to uh direct our actions we also have look at the stars, look up and remember that you are but a tiny speck in a large mysterious universe. Let the magic of the stars connect you to your own special magic. So yeah, this is making sure that you are not forgetting your interconnectedness with the universe, especially with, like I said, life, <laughs> life taking over. It's sometimes we can get into this energy of forgetting that our spiritual team is right with us, that God is right with us, that this is all an experience. So if you find yourself overwhelmed, overthinking, remember who you are by looking up literally to the stars, looking around you and saying, oh, this is an experience. And I don't have to be perfect in it. Now let's go deeper into the reading. So the first card is gonna represent just the overall general theme. So I have the Ten of Cups. So family could be your primary focus. You could be having a new family member come move in or a family member could be um, needing some sort of support. You could be adding to your family. If you're a parent, you could be focusing on your child a lot more or a lot more hands-on with your child during this month. 
there could even be conversations between you and your person about like establishing a foundation for you and your person to have a family. I also see your personal happiness. If it's not family related, your personal happiness could be at the forefront. You could be choosing to do things that make you happy instead of doing things that may be in the air of people pleasing or choosing other people's happiness over yourself has gotten to a point of being too draining, basically. <laughs> so some important moves are going to be made this month to secure your own happiness, secure your own sense of peace. Now with career and finance, I have the King of Cups in reverse. So there could be certain aspects of your job that you're not too fond of. This could be people you work with. This could be the work environment. Uh, this could be a boss that's very inconsiderate. They don't really have compassion for you or have compassion period when it comes to the people that work at your job. And they don't really offer any incentives. They don't offer really any breaks, raises, none of that. For a lot of you too, you could be falling out of love with maybe a career path. You could be feeling like you want to move towards something else that's more fulfilling or more in connection to what you're actually interested in. Okay, I will say also when it comes to your emotional well-being, if you're not in the best emotional space this month, compartmentalizing your life is going to be really important. Knowing how to turn on work mode when you got to turn on work mode in spite of emotional stuff you could be going through or just whether or not you have the energy. It's compartmentalizing and doing what you have to do. Now, when it comes to love specifically, I have the Page of Cups. So there could be a new love that's coming in your life, someone new who you're really starting to hit it off with. Uh, if not someone new, someone who you could really have a crush on and there's an interest and you guys are expressing how you feel to each other, texting, talking, and there could be an emotional bond that's slowly being formed between you two. There also could be someone here who's offering you emotional support when you really, really need it. And then you guys end up like falling for each other in a sense. This could be a friend or someone who you've known for some time. And then they just kind of give you a level of support or comfort. And you might start to take a liking to them, or you may realize that they have been taking a liking to you. Now, I also see with an existing relationship, there could be moments of wanting to express how you both feel. And this could be an opportunity for you and your person to grow beyond the issues that you guys have if you're actually receptive and listening to each other. So this opportunity will open up and present itself. It's just how it's being handled. Now, the, the advice, I was about to say the challenge. This is the challenge card right here. Uh, so the advice with the Nine of Pentacles is to focus on your sense of stability, how to manage your money better. If you're single, this is allowing yourself to enjoy your singlehood and put yourself out there if you do want to meet people. If you don't, be okay with that journey as well. But also for my, my Pisces who feel like you have to do everything on your own and that you don't really have support, try to put yourself out there and foster community and try not to put things more on yourself just to put it on yourself and, and tell yourself you can handle it because everybody needs support at one point. Now, what I see for the possible challenge with the two of pentacles, the challenge could be money management, time management. You could have multiple things that you're trying to do at the same time. And it's the balance between doing this and doing that. That could be a little bit difficult. Uh, this could be working two jobs at the same time. Could be a little bit challenging. There could be fluctuations around money. But also being in control of your resources or being in control of your situation at this time could be challenging because you may have to make some important decisions this month or in general, and it's all up to you to make it. 
Now, what to avoid this month? With the sacrifice card, you want to avoid, and I want to clarify why sacrifice is in this position. Why is sacrifice in this position? Okay, so you want to avoid going backward. If you had to sacrifice a lot because of being in the wrong, wrong relationship, being in the wrong city, being, I don't know, doing the wrong thing with your finances, you want to avoid doing things that will potentially put you right back in that space to where you've had to learn previously. Okay, especially with the Eight of Cups, when it comes to anything you've left behind in the past, Make sure you're not going back to it. Make sure you're not going backward because you've walked away from that chapter in your life for a reason. Now, what I see in terms of what to watch out for or be mindful of this month, I have oppression. So you want to be mindful of feelings that are being stuffed below the surface, uh, things that are being stuffed below the surface, and also how certain situations could feel like oppressive to you or it could feel like a blockage to you. So it's important that you're taking care of yourself and that you're not suppressing your, your emotions and feelings in a way where you're not getting it out, whether that's through exercise, whether that's through meditation, taking a moment to breathe, whatever works for you. But dealing with your stuff is going to be important because if you just stuff that emotion down, you're just going to be walking and going through life subconsciously doing things because of what's going on below the surface. Now, last card is going to represent the outcome for this month. I have the Page of Pinnacles. So this does talk about a financial opportunity presenting itself, a side hustle that creates income, creates money. This also talks about friendship, friends with benefit situations, um, money being paid back to you that's owed. I'm also seeing that as well. Okay, so those are going to be like some major topics. You could be getting some important news around some sort of financial endeavor or a stream of income, you could be figuring that out, especially if things have been a lot more stressful in terms of bills and, and whatnot. You could be getting back into the flow of things if you've been not maybe uh, able to manage your time the best is also another thing. But I hope that this did give you context to what the month of May has in store. If you did enjoy, thumbs up the video, subscribe so you never miss a beat, and I will see my Pisces in the next one. Bye, y'all.